I'm Andrea and I'm going to, um, I'm the lead director, creative director of the Sea of Lights and today we're going to do a couple of lanterns in the hope that um, we can come up with something easy for you to make at home using stuff that um, you might have at home, some of this stuff you won't have but you can use anything with lanterns, probably even plastic bags to make scales. So today we're going to do um, the uh, sea monster lantern. And um, I'm going to to use this, and everyone must have one of these. Um, you have to make sure you take off the advertising, get rid of that. Then you're left with an awesome fish shape already. And now we just have to turn this into a monster. And this can be done really in any way you like. Like I've used old um, bubble wrap here for scales. I'm going to use them like this. But you could use old carrier bags, orange ones or um, you know white ones. And the reason why I'm using this is because it's see-through, so the light can shine through. We're quite lucky in the Sea of Lights because we've got street lights too. So we can do a mixture of light from the inside and sparkles reflecting the light from the outside. So to make a monster, we could start by doing, obviously, some scales. And if the best kind of um, sticky is sticky tape because it's see-through so no one can see where you're attaching things when the dark comes in like that. And put some more scales on. Layer this anywhere you like. Like that, and then you've got some kind of fishiness. I've got googly eyes here. But you can just use card and um, black pen to make eyes. There's no um, need to worry about that. And the best way, again, I've found is sticky tape or hot glue. Hot glue means your lantern will last for a long time. But sticky tape will do just fine. And double it up, make a sellotape pad. So all the stickies on the outside. Like that. Now you have start of your crazy monster. This is a good bowl because it's got bumps on it. There's all sorts you can do. If you've got any sticky plastic at home you can um, use that to make scales. Um, I've got some tape which I have to cut. Let me get my scissors like this. You can use anything you have in the house. And then you can even go even more crazy if you want. You could have crazy flower um, feather eyebrows. Let's see what we've got here. Let's have fishy colours. And then you can tape them on. Like so. Should do that on the other side as well. This one, this one, and possibly let's have a pink one, maybe. Or have we got a dark blue one? I need a purple one. There's a purple one. So we get our cellar tape. Sea monsters can be anything you want. In um, Ada, there was a history of knuckers. Knuckers are dragons that lived, water dragons that lived in holes, um, allegedly lived in holes around um, the downs and that came out and ate all the fish. And we've also got a big history of sea monster hunting, dragon hunters. So is that looking crazy yet? It's looking pretty crazy to me. And 
comes in. So you can do all sorts. You can get lids and put googly eyes on lids like this. If you want yours to stick out more, you can do that. You could just draw on it as well if you've got felt pens, that's not a problem. You could draw on your um, creature, giving them funny patterns. Okay, and then you take off your nose. Once you're happy with your monster's craziness, just look, you can make him have crazy antennae. You could even add more eyes to that. I mean, really, there is no end to the craziness of a monster. crazying up your crazy thing you have your sea monster and you can just put a piece of string stick a piece of string and then you can attach him to a stick um, or you could even just make a handle and carry him if you want and that is um, a very simple crazy sea monster to make